Okay, today is February 27, 2014. Well, we finally got a uh, new all-time high on the S&P 500. And uh, today is actually much better to uh, expect the uh, or, or embrace this new high because we also got new high from the other market indicator as well. And also the breath is uh, much better. Yesterday, uh, I put out a tweet to saying the only person that or the only type of people that would be interested in seeing new high is probably the media talking head because that would have been made a uh, nice new uh, you know, six o'clock news uh, headline to saying the uh, market, the S&P 500 hit a new all time high. But with all the other in indicator is kind of weakening and uh, so it wouldn't be a uh, that uh, big of a deal that that might be a uh, a, a sign of uh, maybe an intermediate uh, market top if that were to happen uh, yeah that was to happen yesterday but uh, today definitely is uh, no sign of market top here and neither am I calling a market top here and anybody uh, calling this uh, you know this is a top then uh, you know maybe uh, uh, they should go uh, take a hike or something, you know, because basically uh, anybody that try to call the uh, market tops and bottom is just say, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fool's game. You know, nobody could do that. So we just kind of wait to see, uh, you know, when the market tells us it's top, then it will top out. And like I said, you know, let's take a look at the uh, the S&P 500. We see the S&P 500 made a new high at uh, 1854.29. That's a new closing high. And I believe this is also the uh, new uh, intraday high. Well, the uh, 54.53 is the new intraday high. And we also uh, see that the uh, NASDAQ 100 as well, you know, made it all a uh, multi-year high. And we also see uh, at one time we were worried about the uh, Russell 2000. A lot of people, when it was down here, say, oh, boy, you know, the small cap is not participating and so forth and so forth. This market is going to the, you know, where, you know, but right now we see a new high over here. So the only guy that is not making a new high today you know, it's the uh, Dow Jones Transportation and the Dow Jones Industrial. So uh, if anybody calling a top without the, the Dow 30 uh, making a, a, a new high, uh, they haven't been watching the market for too long because, uh, you know, historically, uh, you know, we, we have seen every time that the market top, the Dow uh, uh, need to be, uh, you know, top. So the market doesn't top until the Dow Jones top. And uh, so I don't know... Uh, you know, when is the time that we see that the uh, Dow 30 doesn't top out uh, and the market top out. So, uh, you know, certainly uh, that's uh, one thing to uh, to kind of focus on. That's why I put down, you know, now that we got the uh, new high on the S&P 500 and all the other uh, indicators, you know, the, the indexes, uh, except the uh, Dow 30. So we should uh, focus on the Dow 30 to see, you know, how it's going to make this uh, new high up here, you know, um, uh, you know, how and when. Uh, we don't know when and neither do we know how, but we could just kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, you know, the uh, closing high is 16,576.66. So that's the uh, the closing high that we need to see. So in addition to that, uh, we're basically looking at a couple of things. Uh, I guess uh, Yoku was, uh, uh, you know, just reported earning and uh, right now still trading. So it came up. I think the high was uh, like uh, was at 32.10, so right now I'm pulling back a little bit at uh, somewhere around 32.20, and it was uh, you know kind of setting up for this little breakout because as you can see that there's a little trend line here, and also you can see that could be a little breakout here or you know these uh, little pivot here. So um, you know definitely uh, you know tomorrow my uh, if it hold up it's probably could be a little gap open, maybe a little fade in the first 30 minutes and then maybe a Russian you know, run it up because the uh, the chart itself looked pretty good, you know, very positive technically. You know, it seemed like you didn't want to break higher and I wouldn't be surprised to see it uh, come back and try to take out this high here, you know, somewhere around the 37, you know, this uh, 36, uh, what's that, 36.84. And the uh, couple other names that I tweeted out near the close was, uh, I believe it was uh, like I uh, tweeted out Yahoo. You know, you can see Yahoo, you know, been uh, kind of, you know, ever since this little pullback came back down, found some support and come up. So now, right now it's kind of doing a little bit of a pullback and breaking out of this pullback. And this is the uh, basically what we want to see, right? you know, to uh, get these kind of a, a setup. And uh, right now we're looking at these, uh, you know, this particular breakout here, this pivot, and possibly uh, get it back up to uh, this somewhere around this uh, 41 area. And then the other one, uh, what did I also talk about? We talked about getting some uh, donut, Krispy Kreme. You can see uh, Krispy Kreme is uh, doing pretty good too. You know, you can see that if we could, uh, you know, break, uh, break about this uh, 1990 or somewhere around there, 
you know, because uh, you know one could have been a little bit aggressive and could have got in here, you know, this uh, this right here, you know, get it in here. So right now it's kind of been, you know, trying to uh, come up to uh, this level here. And if we get up to this level, we might want to see, you know, one of the uh, first uh, swing target level is probably up here. And if we enter this zone here, then we'll probably look at, uh, you know, filling up this gap here. Then who knows, it might be uh, able to come back up here to this uh, mid-26 area. Okay. Then the uh, other one that uh, we're talking about, also the rotation to, uh, you know, uh, you know, some of the shippers. So you could look at dry shipper, you know, the Baltic uh, shipper here. Uh, you know, you kind of also see, you know, th uh, there's a possibility, people might call this a little bit of a potential, uh, you know, head and shoulder, right, forming this head and shoulder and then come down, right, you know, so that's why we uh, need to look at these uh, breakout, make sure that you, uh, you know, be a little bit patient and wait for the price to break these pivots. So it kind of give you a little sense of idea that uh, the price is breaking a higher high and higher low. Then we could, uh, you know, say, get it to uh, maybe uh, get back up here to the five, you know, so so those are the little uh, play that you might want to keep an eye on, and also the other thing is Marty Corp, you know, this uh, rare earth, uh, you know, type of stuff. You know, so if the uh, if you believe the economy going to pick up and that kind of stuff, you know, so uh, these things might get a little bit of a positive push here. Uh, so basically, once again, we're looking at these, uh, you know, these uh, little pivot point for the breakout. So somewhere around this uh, 550 and change, you know. So if we could break this. And we uh, look at it to uh, come up to this uh, first target. It's uh, you know this pivot as a target, and then once we get into here, essentially filling out this gap, so we could uh, take it up to uh, somewhere around seven. So you know, so so just kind of keep an eye on this, uh, waiting for the breakout, because so what you want to do, you want to see this, you know, these kind of uh, uh, you know six act type of formation. So you got this, uh, you know, uh, a higher low, and then when it break up off this point here, then you got a higher high. You know, so so then you get a little bit of a trend, at least, uh, you know, get that sense of direction of an uptrend to uh, to get the thing up. And the uh, other one is, uh, let me see, uh, you know, uh, NQ uh, Mobile. We're talking about this, uh, you know, this uh, 1850 here uh, a couple of times. You know, the first time I bought up, a lot of people were eyeing that, that number. Uh, so uh, when it first broke, uh, you know, got a little fake out, you know, but the thing is, uh, you know, once you break this here, you know, we're sneaking up, we got this little converging, uh, you know, wedge here or ascending triangle, so it kind of squeezes this guy up. So once it got up there, you know, even though we got a little telling, uh, you know, a hangman type of candle here, uh, it's still just, uh, you know, been running up, so it's been nice. I uh, believe our earning is coming out next Monday, so you got to be careful in this thing. So we might have to take it off uh, before the earning and, uh, you know, manage your... Uh, your gain if you were, you know, if you did uh, take a trade and, and got in on uh, playing this little breakout here. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, maybe take a look at uh, something else. Or maybe you'll take a quick look at Apple. We're going to talk about Apple. Let me take this uh, line out of here. You know, we're talking about, you know, this uh, this trend here, right? You know, this, uh, this trend line. And we're saying that, you know, if you're doing a, uh, you know, trend trading or, or position trading, because you have to look at it in the bigger, you know, uh, you know, instead of looking at these noise, right, you know, you could see, see it like this. So if you look at this little zigzag, you're still basically on an uptrend. Right? So it's de depend on what your objective is. So that's why it's important when you put on a trade, you have to understand, are you doing these little short-term swing trade? You know, if you got in here, you were trying to swing it up here, then you should have stopped out and, uh, uh, you know, instead of taking a hit here. And if you are playing a bounce off of support here and you're playing, a, you know, for the gap fill, then you would have got out here. All right, so right now, if you're playing a bounce, then here's your bounce. But for those people that are kind of waiting for for this gap to fill, you know, maybe they might miss the train by now because, uh, you know, it's better hope that they, uh, they they better hope the the price will pull back and try to fill this gap so they could get in because I think Apple is going to come back up. So once again, you know, we're basically looking at this little type of zigzag, right? So you got this little pullback coming down. All right, so once we get up here, you know, at this. Uh, you know, somewhere around the uh, uh, 550, 560, somewhere around there. So what's the price on that? I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, this is uh, 550, 552. So it's a close at 545, 546. 
So if we get up to here, then we're basically are looking at it come back to uh, the 560 and 572 area. So just keep an eye on Apple here. But again, you know, uh, Apple is not the easiest stock to trade, but you have to uh, establish what, uh, you know, what sort of trading uh, time frame are you trading this thing at? You know, you have day trader, short term, quick trader, swing trader, position trader, or trend trader. Right? So, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you're an investor, you shouldn't be even looking at Apple because it's just frustrated, frustrating uh, because of the uh, lot of games that uh, the market play with Apple. You know, you got the op the whiskey OPEX, all these kind of stuff. You know, so but uh, you know, if you believe in the company, then you just buy the stock and hold it. If you're an investor, but if you're a trader, definitely you have to define yourself. You know, what kind of trade are you setting up for Apple? Otherwise, you just get frustrated. Okay, good luck.